Hi, this is Maple Syrup. I'm submitting my alpha test feedback. So there were there were five problems with the game. Overall, I thought the the graphics were great. Um, I thought it was very realistic. Uh, the the communication. It would be nice if there was like some uh, better means of communication, but that's probably because of uh, probably because I haven't unlocked everything in the invention system. Um, okay, so the first complaint is. The, the spawning seems very random. Like if, if your friend plays, it's a survival game, right? But you if you if you if you start in a friend's family, you you end up skipping a lot of the content. Um, you generally have the same ideology, which kind of like if you were like, oh, I want to be a gatherer with such and such ideology, but you you start in your friend's family. Like it's great that you 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 start off with um, all of the wealth, but then you. You have to take up their ideology, and and um, if you start somewhere where there's not a lot of inventions, um, y you progress a lot slower than the people that do start where there are a lot of inventions. And that brings me to my next point, which is the the inheritance system. There's a lot of there's there's not enough gold sinks for this. This ties into the inheritance system. So so with the family, um, you. If you control the means of production, you you accumulate so much wealth that the the I guess the your employees the the lower class players can't really generate as much wealth to keep up with the veterans, and so the veterans just pull ahead and end up controlling the entire economy. And the way the inheritance works and the way the um, the lack of gold sinks are. They, they just uh, there's there's no real use for all the wealth except to to gain political power. And so I see a problem where if there's if there's no more gold sinks, the 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 veteran players will just keep pulling ahead. And I know like yeah, user generated content and all, but um, there was another problem I I didn't like, which was um. The score. Okay, first off, the permadeath is annoying. I guess I, I'll probably donate though to uh, to have a the character resurrect. But what I didn't like was that when you have your score, um, if you're a veteran player, I heard that you you can just keep on raising your score um, by paying. People with different ideologies to do the well-being lowering actions. So um, I think the well-being should affect your score more, uh, at least with uh, the, the higher end wealth scaling, because it seems that th th there should be basically a soft cap on the well-being you acquire from having lots of wealth. I think because you you. Or, or maybe some like punishment for um, forcing other players to have uh, negative ideologies, or having a, a punishment for paying other players to to exploit other players. Because whenever you start a war or basically uh, steal from the other players, if you're paying someone else to do it, your character should suffer the well-being lowering as if they'd done it themselves, basically. Um, or, or something to that effect. So, so that was um, that was another problem. And then the the last problem I had with the game was um, I'm forgetting. Um, I don't know. I, I I really liked the game. It was it was really immersive. Uh, I I thought it was realistic. But oh yeah yeah. There's just um, the community. There's just going to be a lot of trolls. There's when the game starts out and there's no legislature, um, basically there will be a lot of scammers um, trying to scam people, and a lot of the people aren't even playing to have a high score, which kind of like okay, this is, yeah, this is the final point. A lot of players aren't really playing to have a high score when their character dies. Um, they're just playing to like have fun and grief other players, which, like, 
when you advertise a player-driven economy, it's it's kind of annoying that that some players um, don't have the same. Like even if you have the same ideology as someone else, um, they the other play, some players won't worry about their well-being and will just try to grief other players for fun, and that's or like that's really annoying because like if you have the an ideology to prioritize money, um, if someone's really rich, they might not prioritize money. So. It's like, how do you cooperate with them without the proper legislature in place? If you are playing as um, someone who wants high well-being, then um, you might encounter someone, even with the same ideology, who doesn't care about their well-being and just wants to grief you um, or take your money. And so that that's kind of like, it makes it, it would be nice if there was a system where um, it was easier to cooperate with other players. And I guess the other example is if you have the spiritual ideology. Um, I think I think the spirituality needs a lot of improvement. I, I, I'm assuming this ties into the cash shop somehow, but like a lot of people reported that uh, the prayer system usually didn't work or that like their characters would start suffering well-being losses if something conflicted with their ideology and so like at least let the players choose their ideology when they're making their character that would help a lot and um but yeah i love the direction the game is going and um i'll, I'll definitely be buying it and uh and I guess if there's a cash shop, I, I, I'm all for supporting the development. I hope there's a Kickstarter soon. Um, so my username is maple syrup, one word. And um, yeah, keep working on the game, guys. It's a great game. And by the way, this entire video is a parody of real life. There is no game.